Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friday, the 3rd of February, 2023, is the first Friday of the month, fourth week in Ordinary Time, the optional memorial of St. Ansgar and St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr. It is good for us now and then to have some troubles and adversities, for oftentimes they make a man enter into himself, that he may know that he is an exile, and place not his hopes in anything of the world. Daily Prayer Heavenly Father, form in me the likeness of your Son that I may imitate him in word and deed. Help me to live the gospel faithfully and give me the strength and courage I need to not shrink back in the face of adversity and temptation. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Ansgar, a Benedictine monk born Amiens, France, preached missions to Sweden and Denmark in the 9th century, appointed Bishop of Hamburg Bremen at the edge of Christian Europe. He continued his missionary work despite the devastating assault on Hamburg staged by the Viking king Eric of Jutland. Later, he befriended Eric. Ansgar's prayer were reputed to affect healings. When one of his followers remarked on this gift, Ansgar gently replied, Were I worthy of such a favor from my God, I would ask that he would grant to me this one miracle, that by his grace he would make of me a good man. Ansgar died in 865. The Epistle Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 1. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as if sharing their imprisonment and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge the immoral and adulterers. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, and I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. For he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. 
The Lord is my light and my salvation. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel It is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 6 verse 14. King Herod heard about Jesus for his fame had become widespread and the people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying, he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, It is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother, Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guest. The king said to the girl, Ask of whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, the head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oath and the guest, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard of it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers. Mark chapter 6, verse 21 Imagine being a guest at Herod's birthday feast. He is hosting a party in his own honor. On the menu, the finest cuts of lamb and veal, the creamiest hummus, juicy pomegranates, and the freshest fish direct from the Sea of Galilee. All the signs of wealth and prosperity are present. What a privilege it would be to be there, mingling with Herod's courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Mark chapter 6 verse 21 Now imagine being a guest at a very different feast. This banquet's host is Jesus and it takes place every time his people gather to celebrate the Eucharist. Unlike Herod, Jesus is not honoring himself. He is honoring us with the gift of divine life. Whereas Herod has invited only the elite, 
Jesus invites everyone, rich and poor, proud and humble, satisfied and needy. And while Herod's guests have come expecting to play the power games that accompany all political banquets, Jesus wants us to come only to receive his healing and grace. As for the menu at Jesus' banquet, bread and wine. Not the fresh out of the oven bread that Herod would have provided, but thin unleavened wafers, and not the choicest vintage, but everyday wine. But there's something about this food that sets it apart. It is a miracle. It may be simple, but it is transformed into a sacramental feast that has the power to transform every human heart. Herod's banquet ends in an ominous note, with John the Baptist's severed head on a platter and the guest nervously wondering who his next victim might be. But Jesus' banquet ends with his guests secure in his love and desire to care for them. At every Mass, Jesus spreads a banquet table for you. He invites you to feast on his word in scripture and on his own body and blood. Ever the attentive host, he goes out of his way to make sure you are made to feel welcome and cared for. Then he asks you to go out into the world ready to show just as much care and concern for everyone around you. Or to put it another way, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Jesus, thank you for inviting me to your banquet of life. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.